It had been four years since I had done any uh, live action of any kind, Gateway to Hell uh, being the being the last. This was the, uh, the first time that we would go back and uh, actually do anything uh, this big. Possibly even bigger. My dad and my brother had been uh, pressuring me to uh, do a uh, some sort of a web show for a long time and uh, for a while uh, I didn't know how I would uh, actually get a sustaining product and uh, originally the idea was to uh, take a voiceover insanity and a uh, make a, a web series uh, based around that, like uh, the idea that you've, uh, like someone in Hollywood made a movie and uh, now they're making a television series that uh, that continues that movie. <laughs> kind of like how uh, Big Fat Greek Wedding uh, turned into a short-lived uh, TV series, uh, Big Fat Greek Life. After the release of, uh, of Gateway to Hell, there were already uh, coming up uh, about two, actually uh, two uh, successful uh, web series. One is uh, Red vs. Blue, which uses uh, gameplay footage uh, from the from the Halo games on the Xbox, and the other is uh, the Guild, which is uh, a game uh, based around uh, a group of friends that uh, that play uh, an MMO based uh, video game. Those two shows were uh, were unique, but uh, I decided that mine would uh, be a uh, have a little bit more research into. Uh, what uh, people actually watch on uh, on these sites like YouTube, and uh, I saw that uh, like almost like a uh, like 65 uh, percent of uh, what is on there and uh, what really gets people attention people's attention is uh, shot comedies, like these uh, short videos that. Uh, where people are like going crazy and stuff. So I, uh, I decided that I would uh, do a show where I was uh, going crazy. Well, uh, the character of Ziggy was uh, basically born uh, out of the fact that I, uh, I uh, liked uh, fireworks. Uh, always uh, enjoyed uh, the 4th of July, New Year's Eve, and uh, plus uh, I knew that I could, uh, plus I knew that I had uh, a lot of old friends out there from uh, junior high and high school who always wanted me to do a bunch of crazy things for a laugh because they would always make fun of me for doing it. And, uh... I wanted to combine a... <laughs> a segment in uh, Jackass the Movie. Bam Margera wakes up his uh, parents in the middle of the night with the... Uh, with the fireworks. And, uh, and I'm like, Bam uh, is always one of the crazy ones. He's always, like, uh, doing these things to his uh, parents. And, uh, just thinking to myself, I would have to, uh, have, like, a, like, a really crazed character like that in order to really, uh, garner some attention. So, uh, figured right then and there my, uh, show should be about a pyromaniac. The 
first uh, episode that I wrote was uh, essentially uh, The Pit. And I didn't know how this was uh, going to work. Essentially the idea was uh, I dig like a, a small hole in the ground, put some uh, firecrackers in uh, in this hole and uh, douse them with uh, with a lighter fluid and uh, set them on fire and uh, they're supposed to go off all at once and uh, as the fire is uh, burning I uh, I put the uh, fire uh, I put the lighter fluid the can right between my legs and uh, start squirting more of lighter fluid onto this fire like I'm like I'm urinating on it and uh, that was a uh, <laughs> pretty much uh, because uh, I told Andy that uh, about the the character and uh, and what he did what he did and that once he uh, read that uh, once he uh, saw a safety test and uh, and read the script <laughs> he was sold on it I'm pretty sure uh, all of you have a uh, been watching the uh, show so far. I'm pretty sure you've, uh, pretty sure you're enjoying it by now. I hope you uh, continue to uh, watch it and uh, tune in uh, this Friday as uh, we uh, premiere the uh, new episode. And uh, <laughs> I'll see you there, man. <laughs> <laughs> Better be pissed off than pissed on. <laughs> Suck on that, boy. <laughs> I know the ladies love me. <laughs> <laughs>